Now, these are development boards for students and engineers alike. I've got the capability to produce about 3,500 balls a month. Okay, now what is happening here is what we call a performance test on the microcontroller. Now, after this test, I will do what we call a soak test which will last for about 24 hours or 48 hours I'll set the computer to be sending commands to the interface or the PC interface of this board now the sum of the commands will be to cycle this LED to take readings from the LDR which is the uh, light dependent resistor also we can be taking readings from the uh, ADC which is the uh, analog to digital converter This has been cycling for about five hours now, so I can uh, straight go ahead and uh, perform the uh, PC uh, interface command. All right. Now to perform this uh, soap test, I need to replace this laptop with a preset laptop. So now this is the soap test. Now let's turn the LED on. I'm going to call them uh, the device numbers. So this is board 26 and this is board 28. So I'm going to send uh, a command to board 26 to turn the first LED on. So now let me send a command. It's on. I'm going to tell board 28 to turn to flash its LED. So 28 should flash these LEDs. So 28. Yeah, it's flashing the LEDs. Okay, so what I will do, I'll tell 26 to buzz. So 26 give me a bus so that's 26 I can tell 28 to do the same so 28 to give me a bus as well okay now I'm going to tell 26 to turn the first LED off so 26 let me select 26 this one to 10 oh sorry that one that's 26 26 to 10 this LED off so I'll send a command to it and the command is K0 yes it's 
this off. Now I'm going to take readings, which you might not see the, um, the laptop, but I, the command will take readings from the ADC. That's the ADC. Okay, so 26, I'm going to take reading from ADC. So ADC, the command is V. Alright, so I'm taking readings from there. Now when I actuate this, you will see the screen changing. Doing so, I think what well, I might have, I might have crashed the PC. But I think you saw the uh, this LEDs uh, blinking. That means it's communicating with the PC. Uh, now let me see whether I've crashed the PC or not. If I have refresh, yes, it's crashed. So let me try and open it. Uh, yes, it's crashed. So now let's deal with the uh, 28. Okay, so now 28. When I turn that, it's changing. It's changing. Okay, so now. Uh, I don't know what I'm in the camera view, but what is happening here is that you, you've got uh, two LEDs here, which is the RS and TS flashing. That is telling you that it's taking readings from this board. The PC is taking readings from this board. Okay, now let me stop that. Okay, so let me see if we can get through to 26. I crashed it earlier on, but let's see. It's still closed. So now let me refresh it. Uh, what I have to do is to cycle the power. And to cycle the power, it's just uh, pull the prop and put it back in again. So AQ development board. Now it's sending command. Oh, the PC has crashed now. So, uh, all right, we've got both back. Okay, so I'm going to turn the LED on 26. I hope you still haven't forgotten the uh, names. This is 26, this is 28. So I'm going to send command to 26 to turn the LED. That's a 4 LED. Now, this is a 4 bit LED. So we will start from 0 to 4. Sorry, 0 to 3, which is the 4 bits. Okay, so now I'm going to turn uh, bits zero to come on which is uh, that one the very top one so sorry zero oh sorry i have selected 28 so that is it's this one which is going to come on now let's do that okay it has come on so now let me go and let me go and select 26 so 26 is selected now. So when I tell bit zero to come on, we'll turn this on rather than that. So now let's do that. Yes, okay. Now both are on. Now let me, I'm still on 26. So now let me turn bit three on. So I'm going to say L3. So it's going to turn down, which is which is on now let me turn the second one on which is going to be so if it's the uh, uh, four bits so bit zero bit bit three so this is going to be bit one so i'm going to say l1 now since i'm on 26 which is that one that means it's going to turn this on let's do that one okay now, I'm going to take readings from the LDL. Uh, well, in my previous tutorial, I explained what LDL means. Uh, LDL is a light-dependent resistor. It will change 
the uh, resistance based on the, the ambient light. So if you expose it to more light, it will either decrease the resistance or increase the resistance. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to use a command to collect data from this LDR. Now, what the computer will be doing will be uh, checking the ambient light. That means when I cover it, the ambient light is going to change, so the computer will register that. And because of the camera view, I doubt if you can see that on the screen, but uh, let me do that in a way. Uh, so, which is L. Now, I'm on 26, which is that one, so I'm going to collect the data from this LDR. Yes. Now, it's telling me that it's 242 now. When I cover it, when I cover that and send it again, it's changed. Now, it's gone up 24254. So that is it's gone up. Okay. Now, this is a soap test. That means every single board that I send out goes through this uh, test to make sure that all the onboard module, uh, all the onboard modules are working and before sending them out. So uh, I won't be sitting down here, what do you call it, the whole uh, 24 hours or 48 hours. I will just set this a preset computer. I'll set the computer to be doing that whilst I'm away. Okay. So, uh, and I can test about 10 balls at the same time, sending the commands to 10 balls at the same time. Okay, now let's flash this LED. So I can flash LED, this LED, this LEDs. Okay, flashing. Now I'm going to flash this radar. So what I have to do is to change, or to change, sorry, to change this. Uh, to, to change the uh, the program to recognize this. So this is uh, the 28, so I've changed it to 28. Now let's flash this LED, okay. Okay, so now uh, let's pass 28 buzzer. So buzzing. Okay, now let's pass the 26 bars about continuously. So I will change it to 26. 26. Then we pass it but continuous. So, so you can see the LED here is flashing. Now I have to stop it because what it's doing is that it's filling the register. <laughs> okay, now it's crashed. I hope it's not crashed, but it's filling the register, so I'll stop it now. Okay, now let's see if it's not crashed. If it's not crashed, it should be able to respond. Okay, now let's see if it's not crashed. If it's not crashed, it should be able to go back and flash this LED. LED on 26. Okay, it's fine. Okay, now this is a test that I'll be performing on the board. Once again, this is a simulator for students. Uh, if you are doing uh, embedded engineering and you want a simulator to simulate all your products, that means that is a simulator that you need. I developed this board for students and uh, engineers. Hobbies too can use it. Okay, all right, I've got a lot of solar systems here, but uh, I'm not here to sell anything because I can't sell on the, uh, the Facebook. Okay, so when you come to my site and you are looking for something, yes, we can talk about uh, solar lighting and LEDs and everything, but this is just to demonstrate to some to students. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Flash no sorry to put the one two three that is the uh, bit two on the 
but 28 on so uh, now I'm on board 28 so I'm going to turn that on which is speed 2 so uh, that one okay so Sorry, so I should put in two. Yes, turn that one on. Let me turn all of them on. So that is going to be the first one is going to come on. Then the second one. Okay. It's the same thing. I'm going to turn the 26, all the LEDs on. So I have to select 26. So I'm on this board now. Let's turn all the LEDs on. So, zero. First one is going to come on. Second one. Third one. And fourth one. Now I can turn them off as the same thing in the same sequence. So let's say I'm going to use a different command now. To turn them off, I have to use K. I mean, these are commands that I have uh, uploaded in the microcontroller there. So all that I'm doing, I'm using an interface to call the commands for them to do various things on the uh, board. Okay, so all the commands are in the microcontroller. So now I'm going to call. Uh, the command, there's a command that I've put on it in the microcontroller, that is the K. So the K, when I use K0, we'll put that one off. So let's try that and see. K0 should be able to put the first one off. Let's try that. Yes, it's working. Now, if I use K3, should be able to put that one off. So K K3 should put the last one off. Yes, it's done that. Now let's just flash everything. So there's a command in here once again called F, so should flash everything. Okay, now there are many, many things that I can do here, but I mean the visible ones are the LEDs. So that is one, what, what do you call it, uh, cycling the LEDs. But I can read data from any of the modules here but because of the camera view you cannot see it but let's try maybe I'll take the camera closer to the uh, PC uh, to the PC for you to see what happens if I put my hand on the LDR that one so I might have to take the camera it's not it's not going to be a brilliant idea but let's try that okay now, I'm going to take readings from the light dependent resistor, that one there. Okay, now, see what will happen to the screen. So what I have to do uh, is to put in a command here. I don't know what I, I mean, the camera view. Okay, so now the command is going to be, it's going to be L okay now if you look at what is happening now let me let me send that command every 500 milliseconds uh, so that at least you can see what is happening to the uh, uh, the readings so now if you look closely um, am i in the camera view? yeah the reading now is uh, 2 247 okay so now let me uh, send it every 500 milliseconds so now see what is happening to it now it's still 247 now see what happens if I put my hand on the I'm going to put my hand if I cover that see what is happening to the valleys there okay now it's two you see I'm removing my hand it's going to go down I'm going closer to it that is I'm going to cover it again so what is happening to it covering it when you cover it it goes up 
I've removed my hand, it's going down. I'm taking my hand on top of it, not covering it, but just shading it a little bit. Yes, see what happens to the uh, so it's taking readings from the LD, uh, it's taking reading from this sensor. This sensor, okay. Now we can take reading from uh, the potential. All right, now let's try and take some readings from this potentiometer here. Okay, so what is going to happen is that if I send a command to the microcontroller to read the changes in this potentiometer, the computer will be registering it on the screen. So now let's do that. Let me send a command. I have once again uploaded a command here in the microcontroller. It's residing there and it will wait until you've called upon it to perform a function. So now I'm going to ask it to uh, give me the readings uh, of this uh, uh, analog to digital converter which I have used a uh, potentiometer to simulate that. So now let me send this command from here. So I'm going to send command here. I'm going to send V. Okay. Now, if I send it once, it's just going to be very quick. So now let me send it every 500 milliseconds. Okay. Now, see what is happening. See the values that we are getting. Uh, we are getting 204. It's now 204. 204 all over the place. Okay, now when I turn this potentiometer, it's going to change the readings on the uh, laptop. So let's see. I'm going to turn it now. I can use. Uh, I can use screwdriver to do that. I can use my hand. Okay, now I'm going to turn the potentiometer. Oh, damages here. Okay, I'm turning the potentiometer now. See what is happening to it. It's now. What? I can't see it. Okay, now it's it's now 195. I'm going to turn it clockwise. See what is happening to it. It's, let me turn it to zero clockwise now it's zero okay so now let me increase it bit by bit bit by bit see what is happening to it see what is happening to it now let me t turn it to the other end yes it's yeah the value is increasing now it's 255 okay so all that I'm just doing uh, I'm turning the potentiometer clockwise and anticlockwise. Okay, so what the uh, the command here, the microcontroller is sending the commands. Uh, sorry, the PC is sending the commands to the microcontroller, and the microcontroller is reading the positions of this uh, potentiometer. Okay, all right. So all that I'm doing, just turning it up and down. And see what happens. You see the way I'm even doing it here. Now see what will happen to the screen. Am I in the camera view? See? It's everywhere changing. Okay. Now, I mean, and if you look at what is happening to the uh, the status lights there, the status LEDs, see they are flashing everywhere. That tells you that it's uh, the board is sending readings to the PC. Okay. Uh, now, this is uh, uh, for data acquisition uh, applications. Okay. So, I mean, you can even uh, put uh, like if all these uh, IDC connectors that you've got here. You can connect temperature sensors here and it will be reading the temperature and will be sending it to the PC. You can even put uh, a motor here. It will be telling you the speed of the motor. That will be sent to the PC. And you can put a GSM here, which will be receiving uh, messages from, what do you call it? From, uh, that's 2M, that's from another unit. Yeah, so, 
with all these IDC connectors that you've got here, you can do a lot of projects. Now, you can put a temperature sensor here, and the temperature sensor will be monitoring the, uh, the, uh, that's, that's, the board will be monitoring the temperature, and the readings of the temperature will be sent to the PC. Uh, you can put uh, taco generators here for monitoring speeds. You can have gas sensors to be monitoring gas leakage and all those. So you can do a lot of projects here. Okay, so this is uh, a simple data acquisition uh, application by just putting this thing here. That means I can acquire data from the uh, potentiometer and the data will be transferred to the PC. Okay. All right, now let me stop it. If you look at what is happening, you see the figures are everywhere changing. Uh, I think it's now 174. Changing it now. It should be lower. Yes, it's 64.57. Okay, the status indicator is still flashing. Okay, yeah, okay. Anyway, this is just uh, I'm, I'm performing a soap test, but I uh. For my students out there just to show you what uh, I know I've sent few boards out and uh, uh, those who are using the board to tell them what sort of uh, tests the board goes through you see so all these boards will go through